It was during the 2020 pandemic that Tesla released a new cylindrical battery type called 4680. It has a unique size, which is far more extensive than any previous cylindrical cell installed in EVs up to that point. Tesla's technology advancements made the larger cell possible, which in turn made possible a structural battery pack design, a novel idea that significantly improves electric cars' efficiency. The Model Ys, built at Tesla's Gigafactory in Texas, have already been outfitted with Tesla's 4680 cells, which the company has been producing in-house. The car maker has been actively lobbying for the development of this battery cell from other companies, as it intends to purchase all usable cells it can get its hands on. Due to this, many major battery manufacturers, including Panasonic and LG, have committed resources to develop this notion into a viable product. EVE, a lesser-known Chinese battery maker, is one of them as well. After rumors surfaced last year that Tesla and EVE were in negotiations about providing LFP battery cells to Tesla, the two companies eventually settled up on a partnership. And now, speculations in the tech industry suggest that BMW has plans to use EVE as well. The same battery provider is already in talks with Tesla and now BMW to implement Tesla's 4680 battery configuration. The news is quite intriguing but factual. Two sources familiar with the topic have said that BMW, following in the footsteps of Tesla, would get substantial cylindrical batteries from China's EVE Energy for its electric vehicles in Europe. Although BMW hasn't officially made this public, the company did say it is out to look for batteries. EVE has agreed to establish a manufacturing facility in the Brechen, Hungary, to serve as BMW's principal European battery cell supplier. The site claims that the new batteries will be used in automobiles that will go on sale in 2025, citing anonymous people with knowledge of the agreement. Virtually all EV-focused startups favor cylindrical cells, although significant manufacturers have been slower to do so. One thing is for sure, though, that some of BMW's China electrified cars may be more affordably priced if EVE is successful in implementing LFP chemistry in a 4680 battery configuration. This won't be the first time BMW has targeted Tesla. Oliver Zipze, CEO of the German automobile manufacturer, has openly declared that he doesn't think of Elon Musk's business as a premium brand, since it happened several times. In addition, Peter Nota, the BMW sales manager, is now in the spotlight after making some controversial comments. The top executive said in an interview with media that we will concentrate on a substantial and quick rise in electric cars. For a long time, Tesla had a distinct selling proposition, and that was all. One might agree that words alone are insufficient to dethrone Tesla, the current market leader in electric vehicles. Tesla was recognized as the most valuable automotive brand of 2021 and the one with the highest global growth, according to a Statista analysis. The Model 3 overcame sales of 1 million units in June of 2021 and became the first ever electric car to do so. The brand invoiced more than $53 billion in 2021 alone, representing an increase of more than 70%. The business projects that the recent launch of a new factory in Berlin would raise annual output by 500,000 units. Indeed, statements, claims and speculations are not enough. At this rate, whoever wants to take down Tesla will need to act ethically and put in a lot of effort. Despite sounding like a declaration of war, the aggressive plan to dominate the electric car industry, led by the BMW i4, is justifiable. Although the figure is still far below the 900,000 units that Tesla sold in 2021, the German automaker expects to sell 200,000 units of its various electric models this year. BMW now provides three different electric vehicles. The BMW i4, which directly competes against Tesla Model 3, the BMW iX3, 
and the BMW iX, which directly competes with the Tesla Model X. And in the same market as the Tesla Model S, the BMW i5 is scheduled to get on sale in 2023. To further ramp up its challenge against Tesla, BMW has formally launched its new $2.2 billion facility in China, where it will concentrate heavily on producing electric cars in an effort to catch up to leaders like Tesla and some local makers. Although it is BMW's third facility in China, Plant Lydia in the northeastern city of Shenyang represents its single largest investment there. The plant has the potential to produce both conventional and electric automobiles. In May, the manufacturing of BMW's i3, the company's first mid-size all-electric sports sedan for the Chinese market, began at Plant Lydia. However, BMW still has some catching up to do in China. Remember, the country remains the world's biggest market for electric vehicles. It's also the location where local rivals like Warren Buffett-backed BYD and American competitor Tesla dominate sales. Traditional foreign manufacturers like BMW and Volkswagen have fallen behind. However, they are currently increasing their output. With the opening of its newest facility, BMW can now produce 830,000 vehicles in China every year. EVE is not the only battery manufacturer increasing the output of cylindrical batteries. Cato, the biggest battery maker in the world and a significant Tesla battery supplier, is making a lot of effort to make cylindrical batteries. It will also interest you to know that Tesla's long-term partner Panasonic is also planning to construct a new battery manufacturing plant in Kansas, where it will probably make 4680 Tesla cells for vehicles made at the Gigafactory in Texas. The history of the 4680 battery dates back to 2020, when Elon Musk said that all upcoming Model Y vehicles produced at Tesla's new Texas facility will be outfitted with 4680 type battery cells. The power and size of these groundbreaking batteries are much greater than those of the 18650 types and the 2170 type. Tesla has also explored a new prismatic type battery in addition to the new 4680 type battery. The goal is to ultimately replace all of Tesla's standard range EVs with a variation of this prismatic type battery, also known as the lithium iron phosphate cathode. Through this, Tesla boosted its earnings while maintaining the cost of its standard range cars. It also eliminated the need for any nickel or cobalt, leading to a safer and more reliable battery. Everyone is attempting to catch up to Tesla in all electric car sales, but the manufacturer has a significant lead and is not slowing down. As things stand, this prismatic type LFP battery will likely be used in the next standard range Model 3 and Model Y vehicles. The downside of these prismatic type batteries is that they are significantly more prone to performance problems in cold weather and will probably have a shorter range than the previous 2170 type Tesla battery, even though better stability, lower cost, and the move away from nickel and cobalt are all significant advantages. It's likely that we won't learn more about how this will affect car specifications until they are put into production, similar to the 4680 type. Each Tesla battery type has some significant benefits and some significant drawbacks, but when compared to one another, it's evident that one battery performs far better than all the others. By 2025, the BMW Group will have increased sales of all electric vehicles by more than 50% on an annual basis, a more than tenfold increase over 2020. By the end of 2025, the business expects to have delivered around 2 million all-electric cars to consumers. The BMW Group plans to put approximately 10 million all-electric vehicles on the road over the next several years as well. As a result, the BMW Group is strategically on track to meet the EU's ambitious CO2 reduction targets for 2025 and 2030. Current market forecasts anticipate that all electric cars will account for at least half of global sales by 2030. Is Tesla on the verge of losing its technological edge? With Elon Musk being the man of the moment, we strongly doubt that. However, 
we might want to keep our fingers crossed on this one. BMW's signing a deal with Eve seems to suggest that one of Tesla's primary competitors will have access to a battery that can perform better than it in every manner and maybe less expensive. While Elon Musk is working on Tesla's updated, full self-driving version right now, the main rivals are slowly approaching from different sides. There is no doubt that Tesla is still many steps ahead in competition. Still, there is a good chance that once supply chain issues normalize, most automakers will start making more and more EVs. So who do you think can really compete against Tesla in 2023? What are your thoughts on this matter? Share your thoughts in the comment section. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.